Sziasztok, hogy mondjuk a Minecraft Story módot. Eddig még mindig nehez nem csináltam meg Fifa és Nőre egyáltalán a Story módot. De most... Ah. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Porta, wait there's some porta out there. We have to go. Okay guys, I'm seeing grass, forests, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Gate <clears throat> hole. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? It's just too iron, Lucas. Don't look so disappointed. You're making me feel bad. No, no. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them yeah, which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says invitation and Thank then you, Read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler! Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Wah! <laughs> Nice warning. Okay. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. 
You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Hey, the invitation was classy, though. I'm just saying, anyone who goes through the effort of making an invitation like that, how bad can they be? Hold on, Kevin. We're going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. You pick up that excuse at the same place you got that haircut? Because they're both awful. <laughs> hey, too personal. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall. He's a she's. Should we face it? Woo! Nailed it! Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Stick with me, guys.
Yo, Zhao Tzu. The heck? What? Bi. What'd you see? You just gasped, L like you'd seen something. Okay, okay. Tell us when we get inside, then. <gasps> Great. There's no door back here. How are we so supposed to get in? We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees! We can cut those down! Good plan! And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like there's some kind of kitchen in there! Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Good. Wow, some kitchen. Crazy look, huh? Oh, dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Huh. What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Hmm. Jesse, are you going to take this one, or shall I? This is Torque Dog, sir. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles, I've got, like... Nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Z! Show some respect! The man's a captain. Sorry, Captain. Civilians, am I right? Uh, I'll go first, I guess. I'm Petra, that's Jesse, and over there are Ivor and Lucas. Charmed. Psst, Jesse? That's a boy's name. What are you guys, anyway? Hey, some sort of... <laughs> Loser patrol. Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. <laughs> That's, That's what I thought. Talk dog. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped. So we just need to try our best to get along. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. I hate so much about the way you choose to be. Thank you, Rachel. Can I see some drama here between the two of you? Mmm, just... Uh, just a touch. Whatever. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <gasps> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the Sea of Zombies isn't normal. Good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from like out of town or something? Shut <laughs> it! Did you hear that? Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. But what's up with the lights? Is everyone okay? Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a boy's name. Oh, it's thin. Ah! Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. Just needed to see where we stood. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that who? One minute he's alive, the next gone. Poof. Maybe he checks the wash. Ooh, that was a freaking shock. I can't believe it. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is why is this happening? Wait, wait, wait. Gunpowder, redstone dust. 
Leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah, ah. Uh, who would do this? There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. That's what that was going to Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Smells like me. Yes. Potion of poison. Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Any idea how to make these, Captain? Not really my forte. Sorry. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Easy. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? <laughs> okay. What on earth are you talking about? I'll show you. <laughs> Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these yes, new. Oh. You got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, and then poof, off. you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. It's <laughs> okay. Well, not perfect. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Some of us. What are you talking about? Yours looks just like you. <laughs> you look so harsh. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Go on, Thank everyone. You, yeah. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Hey, Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Yeah. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays. Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the diamond mine cart. W when Dan. did your hair change color, wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Oh, he is. Uh, yeah, it's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? Just a lot. Well, this is going well so far. I know, I know, it's a big shock. We're still trying to figure out the details of what's going on. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa, how can you say that? What? It's a valid question. 
Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just, I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. You should ask. I can't believe you guys are arguing like this after someone just died. Well, let's just say you didn't know Torque Dog like we did. So I'm looking at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? Forget I said anything. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right. Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us. Hunting us? One good one, Oh, I knew I never should have come here. Oh no, this is bad. This is so very, very bad. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going Maybe on. Especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. I know you just got here, but I think you understand what's at stake. If you can help us figure out what's going on here, why that happened to Torque Dog, you could help save our lives. Let's get investigating then. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie. Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah, hey, go to ahead. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical Talk Dog. So, this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have. What can you tell me about it? We don't so know exactly. That. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Well, I'm going to have Hey, Sparkles. And Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Oh, uh, gosh. Gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow. Thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. Hey, hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse, what's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, 
Really? Uh, but what? Anyone that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So, did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, no huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare. But it feels like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Of course he did. There's a temple <laughs> way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> no one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds. Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? That's all, man. Sorry, we don't know anything about this. What was it? Flint and steel? Sorry. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. Everyone? Everyone? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Oh, <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. I am the white pumpkin. Okay, you is the treasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. I don't like the sound of that. Shut the door! Shut the door! Lisa. Come here, Winslow. Be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously, Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but well, who then? Uh, Jesse? The rookie. Give only seven. Sparkle. Well. 
I guess I'm next then. Let's go do a geo click. Not happening. Not letting that guy take down anyone else. It's a good thought, Petra. But this white pumpkin is doing things I can't explain, and that scares me. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah. We need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay. How are you doing this, white pumpkin? Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before. Okay, let's give this a shot. So, just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you just has like the before. treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. I see a It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? Must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Jesse! He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? Oh, go, I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin must have been sitting near the button and pushed it to take out Sparkles. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stanley. Can... One of us Dilkos. is a murderer. Yes, then, well, you, of course. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if okay. I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? traps this white pumpkin must have some serious knowledge regarding both brewing and redstone okay that's all of them if you could all please take the same seat you were at before four of your seats are marked these are the seats that had a button to activate the trap that means that the white pumpkin <laughs> could only be dan, dan stampy, stampy lizzie, lizzie or lucas wait lizzie. you're accusing us Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. The evidence is rather incriminating. Yeah, well, your face is incriminating. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone to separate. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you gonna interrogate first? Lizzie. Lizzie. Oh, 
már most nem már ezt egy ássó embert csináljuk a dolgot. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan? Dan! Swoop in and take it from under my nose. So aggravating. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy well, asked yes, me once about is. how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Huh. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. You're looking for a likely culprit? I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. Yo, one. Lizzie, my world. Who's up next? Hmm. Can you Can you send in Dan? Can you be so petty? Right. I saw Lizzie on the way out. I don't know what she told you, but I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. So I killed the two. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. I, I, I just can't believe this is all over my enchanted flint and steel. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions. Have you talked to Stampy yet? He loves bows and arrows and stuff. Out with it! Who stole the flint and steel? I, I don't like uh, accusing people, but my guess would be Stampy. He likes Stampy to play off it. like he's not interested in it, but I know he wants it just as much as any of us do. So, how would you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tribe of champion. Yeah. Three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. And when Stampy comes in, don't forget to ask him about Redstone. He's amazing with that stuff. Well, I can get it, want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not only as awesome. much as the others, at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy. Everyone's friend. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? 
Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. Nope, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please just tell me what you want to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> what do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny. Because I heard you know all about redstone. What? What uh, What are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, Tri okay, player. okay, okay, fine. You caught me. I do know redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. Never has to be. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room is making me very nervous. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button too. Here you go. Fair's fair. Look. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. Yeah, seems like a pretty complicated case. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. Okay. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yeah. Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Dan. Having gone through all the evidence, right now I'm leaning towards Dan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's just way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is I not a go go pumpkin. Go. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, go, the white pumpkin is still to... roaming around, though. He might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the white pumpkin is, how they're operating. Petra's got a good point. <laughs> Me, Charles. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? Well, Dan's obsessed with the flint and steel. We have to see if anything in here can be tied back to him. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Yes. You cook. 
Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How would I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Fuck off, Bart! Lever. What do you suppose that lever does? Okay, everyone. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. Let's see what's out there. More of those potion covered arrows. Nasty. Well, oh, seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Torkdor. Yeah, so, uh, as and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come to well, a far turn around now. Well, after you then. So you okay with this? What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. It's No idea. But look, a lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing. Yeah, and deadly. Hold on, Alice. I'm guessing there's a redstone mechanism or something hidden in these walls that this lever is connected to. Yeah, maybe inside whatever room we're next to right now. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. It's the green time. I told you who bought that. I see Dan locked up in there. Chop dog. He just want chop dog. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident. I felt all like all it ever all. since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. What a size. Come on, talk about The white pumpkin! He's in there! Then let's go kick his butt. Falco, butt! What on earth? Most the case. Oh, go. What's going on? Door's locked, Jesse. Spiders, they're everywhere. Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. The machine that is crazy. Now, time 
to get to the bottom of this. I was watching you from the walls. We need to talk. Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the part where I said it was an accident, right? I'm innocent. What do I have to do to make you believe me? I could... I could go and sit in the corner very quietly and not touch anything, button or otherwise, for the whole rest of the night. Or I could go and apologize to every single person. I could... Um, I could just stay locked up in this library. Still sounds pretty fishy to me, Diamond Minecart. No, 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 please. Please, I'm not lying. I'm telling you, when I pushed that thing, I had no idea what it would do. And if I'd known it would do that to Sparkles... Oh. Wait, you came out of that portrait in the wall, right? Yeah? I saw one just like that upstairs. What if... Yes, maybe the white pumpkin... <laughs> That's it. Enjoying the party? Yeah, I think. <laughs> That's my cue. Come on! Jesse, are you okay? You have to break through! <laughs> Szóval erről beszéltem. Úgyhogy nem gyorsítom meg egy stampikedet, akkor Lizzy hal meg. Tehát három, tehát itt 70 százalék az esély, Lizzy hal áll. I don't think so. Look out! Ah. Soul sand! Reach out. Come on, Joshua, 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 Joshua! Your legs about to run out. Come on, Josh. Mi ez a következő? Trying to figure this one out myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was, and I almost had him until you, you know he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What's, well, for you? what's going on in here? No. <gasps> you called the white pumpkin. Grab him quick. On it. Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the White Pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. Okay, and now Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. <laughs> Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? 
That's funny. Because I don't trust you. It's Where fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. So what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir crazy. One of these people still knows more than they're letting on. We need to talk to him until they crack. Sounds like a plan to me. Fuck all. Punch. <gasps> Whoa, another secret passage. Hey, Marcy. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. a step in the right direction. Hmm, yeah, that seems right. Design. There we go. Awesome. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. Could be dangerous. No, I, see, I, see, I see. totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Technically true. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is... Deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Ugh! So frustrating. I know that it's not your fault, and I know that you're trying. I'm really sorry. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily, those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Hey, oh, okay. yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. So go ahead. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. We've got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Good. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> what is it? Is it it?
Lady, told you we'd make it. Yeah. Just hope this works. Think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. We should still be prepared for anything. Hey, do you hear lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Oh, <laughs> well, that explains all the zombie noises. I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Where's the loot going from here? Hopefully, right to the white pumpkin. Look at that, Manny. You see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay, I think we can jump from here. Station. Weird. So it was fake. The white pumpkin must have heard us. <laughs> Stampy cat! Boy, oh, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Looks like we're catching you in the act, white pumpkin. No, no not me. That's not me. I was just curious. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Wow. Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. Didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? I think you should give it back to Dan. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's better. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. 
baby. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, here's that. where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry. We'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. I'm guessing this chest should have... Yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow. And ender pearls. Sweet. That must be how the White down. Pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. Come on, put my hand in the door. What's that for? Trust me, you never know when a fishing pole will come in handy. Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Ah, many cats. So many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. It's a good portrait. I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Okay, Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Dan. No, oh, his fast. portrait's actually right there. Yeah, uh, Cassie's actually the one with the missing portrait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, so you guys. Dialogue. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? I have the evidence I need to prove that Lucas is innocent. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't say. Hmm. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Well, Jesse, go on, Cassie. Tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the white pumpkin. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. 
Something had happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Ivor's portrait had a red X on it. Actually, um, no, it didn't, Jesse. Oh, shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. We found a Primo potion brewing station. Perfect for making the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog in the first place. Oh, that's pretty good evidence, but, uh... Honestly, that seems more like a Lizzie clue than anything. Yeah, and she's gone. Hmm, that made more sense in my head. But that's okay. Stick with me, people. Jesse, come on. You're blowing this. You can do it. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all no, looked just that. like Winslow. No! An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow? He's brown, orange, and white. Easy. <laughs> Wrong. I'm sorry, Jesse, but nah, it just doesn't add up. I guess that means the most likely candidate is still Lucas. No way. No way. I am not leaving here without him. So, do you punks want to do it the easy way? Or the way where I punch all of you? Guys! Guys! Come on! There are better ways to resolve this. I'm starting to wonder if you're all in on it. No, 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 no! Please, we don't have to do this! We don't have to do this! I have the enchanted flint and steel! You had it? You?! I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. Wait, Jesse was right. That's you were all so wrapped that. in your stupid drama. Oh, don't monologue. It's very unbecoming. See, I told you guys. I just didn't do the best job of explaining. Stop! I'll fight all of you! And every one of you! Oh, no! Whoa! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt? She can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Wait! Look! I didn't. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah. I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. After everything she did, she got what she deserved. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. <laughs> hey, very good. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Hey, Greg. Ah, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is. Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I'm just glad we stopped Cassie. That is true. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, oh, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? Oh, that was that's true. Maybe it's nearby. Oh. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence. So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. 
just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Ah, oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank. A harmless prank. And I'm so sorry. So very, very sorry. Yeah, come on. It's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Come now. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. I know. No, I think she's just another traveler like us. I feel like an old me. builder would have more of a special vibe. I guess that's true. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Okay. Does it ideally on your nice finale? Huh? That's weird. Winslow. Winslow. That's strange. I thought. Oh! Egy nincs vége. Most elüljön ki, hogy valami meg tudom egy ilyen zero death fast is. What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites. Endermites. And there it is, Jesse. You're trapped. Stuck! <laughs> just like I've been in this rotten world. Come on, Cassie. Just let us go and we can go our separate ways. After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. Yes. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Why don't you just go find your own? Have you not been paying attention at all? That's what I've been trying to do. For years! Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. That's not even my bottled. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Was yeah. something done right here to prepare for your death? <laughs> Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Uh, stupid door! Oh, Sorry, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open! Just hold on, guys! I'm gonna get up to the control panel! Oh. Yeah! That is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is yeah, so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Uh, Trying to get uh, leverage? 
Give it a key, Jesse. I don't think so. Jesse, guys, I can't believe you're alive. Thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry. I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. <laughs> Got it. Oh, okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? <laughs> so bad. I grew tired of this game, Jesse. You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope! No! no. What? <laughs> yeah, don't talk. No, we are going home. I don't think so. Yes, yes, no. Yes, no. no! You can't do this! I've waited too long! It's mine, Cassie! I'm the cat over no code, dude. <laughs> Good boy, sweet kitty. Bring that to master. Please bring it to master. Don't do that. Hey, there you go, sweet kitty. No! No! You are. After all this time, I am free. Winslow, I don't think we have so. to go. What have I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Kathy. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Oh, fuck. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Sometimes. Hey! Cat stop! What did you say? You <laughs> heard me! Cat stop! Pigs are way cooler! I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. What's going? Ah! I've got it! Excellent! I did it! You're all dying now! Uh, no, thank you! Yes! No! God! Zero <laughs> death! Well, Jesse, I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trent, in my own trap! You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and That's mean, okay. and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best, my only friend. Please. I was sorry. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? Winslow! Wow. So she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd though. be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Ah, 
Megvon. Good side so far. Yeah. No trick like floors that. or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. Adventure! <gül> Még mindig siker, a csicsi, lássuk majd a SSD-ban sikerül -e. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Alright, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Oh, big shit.
Jó van. Jó van, mind kettőre megcsinált az év, de te továbbra is ennyi volt utána. És még közebb az Excelsior következik. Nem számítógépekkel megküzdik. Ennyi volt, szavaszt.